Now it looks like Nadia's brother wanted to be Messi after he asked Nadia in a Q&A YouTube video, who do you think you can beat up influencers wise? And so Nadia stated she's too pretty to be fighting, but if she had to choose, it would be Yanni. And so she feels like the supporters will be d eating and saying she's only picking Yanni because she's pregnant. Nadia then says the only person she left off on with bad terms is Lena, but she stated there is no issue between them. Who do you think you can and like influence your wife? Yeah. Um, so it's just like I really don't see myself fighting, or I really just don't see my pretty self fighting for real. For real. that's why I really don't argue no more. I be letting people talk to themselves because I'm just too pretty to. But if I had to, this no shade, don't get to going on TikTok, don't get to doing all this fake internet shit because y'all want the attention and da-da-da, it's just a question. If I was to get in the field, I'm going to say Yanni, but then y'all going to say I'm only picking her because she's pregnant, so I'm not going to say that. That's the only person I really left off on bad terms with. I'm not on bad terms with this girl, but I would probably say Lena. Now Lena quickly received what Nadia said and she responded after she left this comment saying could never laugh in emoji. Then Lena and Nadia took the whole situation to another level as they unfollow each other on Instagram. And so it seems like people has something to say when it comes to this whole situation. Somebody said she wanna fight everyone but Rose, the girl who actually wants to fight her. Someone stated she just keep mentioning Yanni like D what the F, she on her. And the last one stated Nadia had a choice, she did not have to answer that question. It was messy. Now, what are your all thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, Nisha also appears with a repost after Nadia's Q&A about her fighting him. And so she said, I don't like when people try to make it seem like you're the bad person in situations. When you really be the other way around, especially when you are a genuine person, they won't ever speak on how they treated you or what caused you to draw away from them. And so you can guys pause the video and read the rest if you want to. Now, Nisha's sister responded to Nadia a statement and she said there is no H in her blood and her sister stated that they have folks in Atlanta, the city Nadia will be in for a tour. Somebody said he the most annoying but ain't that's how your name started to get out? Right when Eli was her man, Eli made a TikTok about my sister and she was all for it. But she talking about Debu? The Stop playing victim in every situation. Next. So Nisha replied with fact, not entertaining this BS. Again, just want me and my man attention. Stand on what you said though. My mama ain't raised no H. It ain't in our blood. Now, what are you feeling about this? Let me know guys down in the comment section below. Now, I do want to move on to this last topic because it looks like Destiny did a new YouTube video addressing Damari's situation. He stated that he gets upset when talking about the video of Damari that was posted. She also becomes emotional when discussing the situation with Damari. Me and his mom and his family and his close friends have been there to help him every step of the way. Y'all cannot sit here and say something based, based off a video that y'all seen 15 seconds that somebody decided to post. They had the choice to not even post that. But because of whatever reason y'all wanted to post that, it's posted, it's out there, and y'all are exploiting that band. Y'all don't understand. I know when they was there in that man's face, they seen what was going on with him. They knew something mentally was wrong. So why would you sit there and do that? Why would you sit there and post that? What's wrong with you? All I'm saying is just that. He's getting the help that he needs. We are all here to love, care, and support this man. To support Damari. No one needs the extra... No one needs the extra put down, nothing, put, put, whatever. Nobody needs that. You know what I'm saying? We are just here to support him, to care for him, and to make sure he gets better. For him, for his child, and for his family. That's all, bruh. We just want the old Demar back. That's all. So, I hope y'all understand. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I'm speaking on behalf of his mama too because y'all don't even know the app of 